You got different. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. See the chase it now, I'll chase it later, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, putting, I'm putting it back where it's supposed to be. Paul, don't do it. <laughs> it's recording out to do nothing else but aim it at what I'm doing so that I can, I'll explain it as I do it later. On the... I'll do a voiceover. I'm walking through the overhang and I'll just tell them. I'm going to do the voiceover part. <coughs> Them benders in the air, huh? Huh? I gave them back. Stay there. Right, get your mark, Paul. I'll hold this part. narrating you know over the screen thank you George
forward. And that's how you cut the outside face. Okay, slide it in there, Paul. It's all you, my brother. Yeah, you like it? You yeah. like that, Paul? That's everything. You can get the rest? Yeah, I can get the rest of everything. Pull this in some more with rivets. It'd be beautiful. Just get a rivet here and a rivet there. Or one rivet in the middle. Hold it real nice and tight. Tap that with a hammer right there just to make that little curve go away. That'll be beautiful. All right, everybody, if you've been along for this journey, this mobile home roof, this one was not a how to, basically just showing you what we're doing, how we're doing it. Uh, not a how we are doing it, I shouldn't say. Um, I'm not going through big details. I've had a lot of videos on my channel showing more details of how, to, how we do this. Um, we're just showing you another one of the projects that we're working on. And we do have some crazy things to deal with on these mobile homes. You never know what you're going to run into. So you take them as they come and fix them as you get them. So uh, anyways, we had a few issues with this one, of course, because we had this porch. And the roof was not at the same level as the house. So we had a few issues there, which will come out in the turn bar. So that's not a big deal. Um, this is one of our outside corners. This is basically how we end up finishing off our metal right here. We run a piece by this front piece goes first and then this one here goes over the top of it. Then we bend that piece right there around to kind of close that off. Then we'll probably bend this around a little bit too. Just make that look a little bit prettier. But that's how we, that's how we finish these off underneath. Turn bar every two feet. All the way down through. Anyways, we've got all the fascia metal on. So at this point, we're gonna cut a piece of rubber for this bottom so that we can run our rubber over the top of it. So that's where we're at right now. And it is, what's today? Wednesday, Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Don't forget your lottery ticket for Tuesday. Anyways, everybody, we only had three of us with it. So it wasn't really easy for me to videotape. And if the GoPro had been on my head, it would just been moving around all day long, driving you crazy and me crazy. Yeah, let's take five minutes, guys. We can get all the metals on. We're ready to put, start gluing this thing down. That's, that's how we finished our gable end out. One solid piece of metal all the way across. We put it in a small J channel, so make it nice and stiff across the bottom. And then we put our face of metal over the top, and that closed that off really nice. Tell me that doesn't look so much better. Uh, these are the gable ends that we did. Now you've seen where we tore them all apart. Now we rebuilt them and put new metal up there and everything. So we've got our six inch overhang. Excuse my rubber, I was hoping to show you all the way down. There we go. That looks so nice. Six inch overhang on a mobile home. That's gonna keep all this water from running down the side of the house like that. That's all that is, is water and the fact that there's not a lot of sunshine back here. Hopefully he's gonna be able to get rid of all that stuff there and close that, and just close that area in. This thing here, that's got, that should probably all go. It's junk. Everything about that window was done wrong, whoever did it. I mean, they just stuck some interior trim pieces around that thing. It's been leaking since day one, so it won't leak anymore after today because we're gonna have that rubber on this thing. And check us out down here, this other gable end. Did it the same way. That. I like it. Here it does make it look better. That piece there had a big wide piece. She wanted to know if we could keep that fascia just running the same all the way down through there and not making a jog in the roof. So we told her we'd figure it out and that's what we actually ended up coming out with. And I think that's going to work out just fine. She's got overhang instead of being flush. Now she has some kind of an overhang that the water's not gonna be running now down inside the, right down the side of the house, so. Looking better, I like it. 